people that you know like many Koreans do not know that this is happening mm-hmm. within these religious cults and how these religious cults approach foreigners or other like vulnerable female right. you know and you know making them the bride of these crazy right. religious mm-hmm. because like most of the people who approach you in Korea at first all of them seem harmless like none of them feel dangerous like right from the first time you meet them but like you can go a lot of different directions with these cults like for example in my case it was just like a history club and they made me pay like manwan but like in her case it was like ba- getting baptized it all started with the same conversation the same kind of people but then it could go so many different wrong ways that you never know i was just lucky that it was not as crazy as her story but like we have a friend who talking about the in the name of god the gms mm-hmm. cult we actually have a friend who we think she kind of got into the cult but she ran away before anything bad happened she was also in like um she was doing her language school in korea in busan and she got approached by some people and they was like oh how oh, of course like they started talking like how they do to all the foreigners like where are you from like what are you doing here blah 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 and then she got scouted as like a model and she she was like yeah okay modeling sounds fun like she had interest in modeling and she's like yeah like i have nothing to do it was like the summer break she was like yeah fun on a nice little activity she went with them and like for one month or something they they were just doing like modeling classes once a week like it was nothing shady nothing shady was happening like once a week they would do modeling classes she would go there practice her modeling stuff was that for free um i yes, think so i think, it was I think so yeah. Yeah. yeah major red flag yeah <laughs> but she was like oh free modeling classes great and she was going there once a week and like she told us like sometimes they would um like the the lady who was in charge of all these people in her group like of course she was not alone there were also other people uh she would like call like get like call them for dinners and stuff so like they and again nothing shady was happening like they were just meeting for eating food and that's it that happened for some time and then one time they were like the lady who was in charge she was like okay so we are going on like a retreat kind of thing somewhere okay <laughs> with like and like all the people from uh, all across korea like the same uh, organization they will all meet in this one big place and it will be like a get together for like all the people in this organization or whatever or the company like of course they were they told it was a company yeah. so she was like okay like sounds fun it's like it's a it's summer break and it's a lot of foreigners and it's what 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 can happen right so she goes there and it's a big villa a big estate in uh, what is it called Wolmyeong Wol- Wolmyeongdong oh yeah Wolmyeongdong Wol- oh my god yeah. like she didn't know that it was a GMA so she didn't know anything about the cult per se like even we didn't know that it was the same cult that was happening and she goes there it's a big estate a huge uh, villa kind of thing and everyone is just like having a good time or like they're just they're just playing and like and there was like a pool party and stuff like that happening and in one like kind of like a pagoda thing one dude was giving some sort of seminar thankfully a friend never went to that seminar she didn't hear she didn't participate in that seminar so she doesn't know what they were preaching or whatever the seminar was about but there were like groups of people who were listening to the seminar and most of the people who were in that place were all foreign women young foreign women <laughs> she told us like she thought it was a little bit sketchy because like you know what are all these foreign women young women across from all across the country doing here and then at one point like this dude after his seminars were over they uh he comes in his like little golf van or something like that mm-hmm. and all of them like her group our friends group they got get on the van like he's like yeah i'll give you a tour of my estate and like i'll show you around stuff like that nothing nothing sketchy and so they are on this little estate tour on his little golf van we don't know who this dude is we assume he's someone but like yeah. we 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 are not sure who this is of course because we were not there and our friend she doesn't remember his face and she, my like the lady who was in charge of her group she introduced her to this dude and she was like yeah she's she's um, a really good model and blah blah she was praising her 
about like uh, or her Korean or how she looks or like how she models or stuff like that. And she ended up shaking hands with this dude. And when she shook hands, all the other girls were like, "Oh my God, I'm so jealous! You're so lucky! <gasps> like you got to go shake hands with this person." And that's the point where my friend was like, "Okay, something is wrong. Yeah, like why are they cra- like crazy over this old Ajushi?" So he was that guy. We d- we don't know. Like we we don't want to make assumptions, but we think obviously, he was. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. So oh. after that, she tried Ooh. to ask that lady who was in charge. Like, so who is this guy? Like, I shook hands with him. He seems popular. <laughs> And she was like, Yeah, but like, uh, I'll tell you about him. Like, she didn't tell the name of this guy. But like, if you like Google him, of course, a lot of bad things will come. But like, he's a nice guy. He's just trying to help people, and he's trying to, you know, help people become better and like better versions of themselves and blah blah blah. And she was like, "Yeah, so I can't Google him," and she they never told her the name of this guy. Typical JMS story. Yeah, and then she just left. Like she never went back to this modeling class. Uh, thank thankfully she came back home safe, and she could go back to her dorms and just not go back again. And like at first when we heard this story, we were like, okay, it's just like a another cult. And it's like you know they just want foreigners in their brochures, because usually they want foreigners because they want us to put on their brochures. They take photos and put up on their websites and stuff. Yeah. So we all thought it was like okay, maybe it's just another cult story like we all have. And then when we were uh, before we did this podcast, I was like talking to all my friends and listening to their cult stories. And we were in the group chat, and she was telling us about like what her story was. And then at one point, she sends us a photo of like she found. She digged into her photo album to find at least some photo that she has from that place. And she got she she sent us a photo of. No, not a fo- like she. Did she sent, sent the location. She sent the like, location. Uh, like, she found the location. She the she had some photo from that place, and you know, in Apple, you get the geotag of where you and took it, the photo. And it was Wormyeongdong. She yeah. Oh my god. And then I I, I and just all those like, put, I just put Wormyeong Wormyeongdong like in Google, and he popped out. And then I I I just saved his picture and I sent like. Is this guy the guy you shook hands with? And she was like, "No, it I was couldn't like, be. No, it's not JMS. It couldn't be." And she was like, "Oh, I don't know. I don't remember." And then like we start to search, and and like, like we start sending photos of the place because like if you Google Wolmengdong, there's a we- whole website about like rec- recreational retreat yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And I was sending all the photos, and she's like, "Yeah, that's a place." I was like, "Dude, Dude. you <laughs> did? Do you know where you have been?" And and she has not seen the documentary, so she doesn't she, know what she doesn't know. Is. She has to watch that no, documentary. No, 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 no. She, no, no, she, she says she has PTSD. No, no, she says she she doesn't she want can't. to watch. Oh yeah, <laughs> like okay. it's too much. Like she got like she was so lucky to be able to not get sucked into that thing, and like she didn't know what JMS was. And us too. We we I know about the documentary. She saw the doc. She saw saw the documentary, so we knew how they recruited and like what they did. So we were like. Are you sure it's like? Are you sure this happened? Are you sure that happened? And then we, all of us, came to a conclusion that it was probably JMS. Yeah. Because it was Wol Myung Dong. Like, what else can it be? Yeah, and the, the, way same they, the way they react when she like she shook hands with him. It was all young foreign girls. Oh my god! And they have like a model bombu like. Yeah, uh, they're probably like model. preparing them to be his brides or whatever. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Our friend group has some crazy stories. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's it's fascinating how these religious cults can affect you know like people in the psychological level, yeah. like how they manipulate the human mind, yeah. and you know entice these people into believing that this guy is some kind of a god, and I would be his bride, and you know like cleanse my bad. soul or something. So and JMS is actually a really really big organization. Yeah. It's all around the world yeah. and it has a lot of, you know, like foreign believers.